In view of the fact that there are apparently an estimated of 300 people of Venezuelan nationality residing on the island, the Regional Director of Migration Colombia explained what the temporary protection status for migrants is about, which provides some benefits to Venezuelan population and the data that the entity has on his population on the island. It's a policy promoted by the Presidency of the Republic, led by our President Ivan Duque and executed and led by Migration Colombia throughout the national territory. In that order of ideas, the first thing to say is that San Andres has not been immune to the implementation and execution of this protection statute for Venezuelan migrants. Since last March, we have been reviewing and executing each of the four stages that make up the statute. According to Cifuentes, the first stage of this status began in March and is currently open for Venezuelan migrants, which means that migrants can approach Migración Colombia to apply for a temporary protection status. After having executed the biometric registration, the entity determines the following based on the data obtained. Currently, there are only six Venezuelan citizens residing on the island of San Andres. The other people assisted to the session to complement a number of 42 citizens who came as tourists. In that manner, to schedule an appointment for biometric registration and in their same capacity as tourists, they return to their places of origin where they usually reside. This is therefore what we can say from this exercise. We cannot say that the island or the department has 300 Venezuelan migrants settled. This has not been given from the records of this statute. This does not mean that there are not 300. However, people in the community who have knowledge of any Venezuelan on the island are invited to approach Immigration Colombia office so that the benefits of the statutes for the population can be explained to them.